Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for joining. In this video, we're breaking down damage and DPS numbers for Galahorn with its catalyst. And while it is potent, it's inconsistent and has a problem with bosses. So, let's begin. So it's the return of the king, the D1 king. Will this be crowned the same in D2 though? This video will feel a little different to normal, but it's absolutely necessary I talk about some specific things. Swiftly starting with a breakdown of the numbers. Galahorn initially behaves like a normal rocket launcher. You fire one rocket and it can do two lots of damage, impact and blast. However, after its detonation, eight wolf pack rounds are emitted and they can track nearby targets and cause additional damage. You can see here when fired at a wall, a detonation of four followed by another four. Against Carl, the impact damage was 15,879, while blast damage was 55,640. For each wolf pack round, impact was 2,415 and blast was 5,175. This means 7,590 for each of those, of which there was 8, so total damage from Wolfpack rounds for a normal rocket was 60,720. Add this to the impact and blast from that normal rocket, and total damage for everyone fired comes in at 132,239. So, do we now multiply it by everything in reserves for total damage and test the timings for a DPS value? Well, not quite. So, problem number 1. The main rocket has proximity detonation, kind of like grenades and horseshoes on truth. What this means is that it will often detonate before impacting. Blast damage stays the same, but you lose out on all that impact damage. Aiming down sight or firing from the hip, or the shoulder in this case, made no difference. Sometimes I'd have impact, sometimes I wouldn't. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to this, and for me, I would get no impact damage more often than I would. So, a lot of damage to lose out on there. Problem number two, Wolfpack rounds. As stated already, these have two lots of numbers each, one for impact and one for blast. However, the number of impact values on screen was never the same and appear to have the potential to range anywhere from eight to 16 individual values, which is one for each Wolfpack round or two for each. I assume they were impacting and sometimes bouncing off the target, then coming back round and impacting for a second time, which would be when they detonated. Either that or it's just a bug, but sometimes I'd count as low as 9 to 10 impact values and other times 16. I asked the question in a discord of incredibly knowledgeable people that test everything in Destiny 2 pretty much and they're fairly certain that they bounce, but not every time, hence the inconsistencies. So that's what I'm going with, Wolfpack rounds can bounce. A table is coming onto screen now breaking all that damage down against Carl. These last two problems discuss the why I'm going to give a DPS range, a minimum possible DPS and a maximum possible DPS, which we'll see soon. Pause the video if you want more time with this table because... Problem number three. Wolfpack rounds do proportionately less damage against bosses than they do against mages. This means that damage reduces by a larger percentage compared to the main rocket itself that's fired from Galahorn. Let's look at some examples, starting with Carl and comparing it to Whisper and Sleeper. We already have a number for Galahorn and damage for a single rocket, which at the moment is 132,239. That's impact and blast from the main rocket and 8 lots of impact and blast from the Wolfpack rounds. Sleeper Simulant did 82,119 and Whisper did 45,343. Remember, this is all against Carl. Next, I went into the new dungeon and tested against the Ogre from the first boss encounter, whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce. All three weapons were 1330 power and my overall character power level didn't change, so in theory that shouldn't be a factor in damage scaling. Sleeper did 69,648, Whisper did 37,650 and Galahorn? Well there's a table coming onto screen now to break that down. The percentage reduction for the main rocket, both impact and blast, was near as damn at 10%. Sleeper dropped by around 15% while Whisper reduced by approximately 17%. Wolfpack rounds though? Their damage reduced by 69%. While those percentages in isolation don't mean much, when used to compare across the three weapons and Wolfpack rounds, it paints a much different picture compared to testing against Carl. So let's quickly talk timings and get some DPS numbers. All testing was completed with the catalyst, so two rockets in each chamber. I could hold seven in reserves, but only tested up to six as to not skew that average DPS figure. One loader mod was used and Galahorn had the perk Pack Hunter active, increasing reload speed further. 
Total time to fire those six rounds came in at 10.6 seconds, bringing on the damage table from before, but now with two lots of DPS figures, a lowest potential at 65,864 and a highest potential at 85,788. Both of these are incredibly impressive for a single weapon. Pause the video now if you want more time to look at this table as we are moving on to the graph, but for Carl. The three starting weapons are Sleeper Simulant, one with reload speed from a single loader mod, and one in a Lunar Faction well. Neither are with Particle Deconstruction, Whisper of the Worm as well, and Galahorn now coming onto screen with two lines, the minimum potential damage and the maximum potential. And if this is anything to go by, it would suggest that even with the worst possible outcome from Galahorn, it beats everything comfortably after around the 5 second mark. When using this exotic rocket launcher, your damage can be anywhere between these two lines. But if we adjust those damage numbers when against the boss, in this case the Dungeon Ogre, and apply them to the graph, it looks a little more like this. Galahorn has gone from having its worst possible outcome beating Sleeper and Whisper after 5 seconds, to barely staying ahead with the best possible outcome. And that best possible outcome's total damage against Carl was close to matching Sleeper's, but now it can't even match it for two magazines or eight rounds, because you know, Sleeper has four in the mag now. Another interesting point regarding DPS, and while I have spoken about this in my DPS behind the numbers video, now would be a good time to bring it up again. The best outcome for Galahorn has a higher DPS value than Sleeper in a well, even against a boss, however, Take a look at what's above that best outcome for Galahorn after it's fired all rockets and the line ends. It's Sleeper in a well. DPS is just an average and a guide, and that average typically drops the longer you fire for. It will eventually level out, but that'll take a long time. The reason Sleeper has a lower DPS value is because it's been tested over a longer period of time, as it can fire for longer with base reserves. An apples for apples comparison would have the test end at the same time for all weapons, in which case Sleeper in a well would have the highest average DPS against the boss, but then we wouldn't know total damage. Take a look at the DPS behind the numbers video for more detail on that if you're interested. So Galahorn, yes, it is very good. Against mages and champions, it has some excellent burst DPS with the catalyst, and its sustained DPS, which isn't as relevant for mages, is truly fantastic. For bosses, however, it is still impressive and is on par with Sleeper, and I'd say it does slightly better than Whisper. Regarding the DPS or damage range, it's extremely rare you'll match either of those lines, and will almost always fall somewhere in between. But for bosses, total damage is a problem. Coming onto the graph now are some markers that indicate the length of time a damage phase lasts against Tanix. I've removed one second to take into consideration how long it'll take to jump into the circle, and this is only for one damage cycle, up to the point you get thrown back. It's not ideal and will change based on how long it takes to land on the ground and start firing. This is something on the graph that will be in every DPS video going forward, and gives an excellent idea as to what weapon could be best for a particular raid boss. So for those wondering, I won't be testing legendary rocket launchers in this video. Two reasons for that being in real life events that delayed this video, so I didn't want to extend that delay by testing anymore. And secondly, I think I'm going to temporarily take a step back from testing the DPS of specific weapons. Galahorn has highlighted the issue with testing against Carl. As we've seen here and before, scaling is different even between linear fusion rifles and snipers. I want to focus a bit more on damage scaling now, while also trying to find a suitable replacement that's actually a boss. So apologies for anyone hoping to see those legendaries. If you are curious though, perks like Vorpal, Lasting Impression, Frenzy etc increase the damage of Wolfpack rounds by the same amount they increase the damage of the main rocket, so they have the potential to be better than Galahorn, but it's important to have a perk that allows two in the chamber, such as Clown Cartridge, to help ensure better DPS as well. My quick advice with no data to back this up and therefore speculating would be one person with Callahorn and everyone else with a legendary that has a damage increasing perk such as Vorpal or Frenzy for example. If you'd like to see that damage and DPS actually broken down once a replacement for Carl has been found, let me know in the comments down below. Until then though, that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed the short video and found it helpful and informative. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already and give me any feedback in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.